Uh, this interview is now taking place at uh, Miri's house on Kafbet Kislev Tafshin Ayn Gimel about uh, Dad's life story. But uh, you want it in Eng English? Yeah, English, yeah, sure. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, as natural as possible. <coughs> um, Dad, I want to start now from uh, any information about your grandparents or even your great-grandparents, if you know where they came from, and the names, etc., and uh, we'll uh, show well, the pictures uh, afterwards. <coughs> my grandparents, uh, from my father's side, they came from uh, uh, Riga, mm. in Latvia. And my uh, grandparents, from my mother's side, uh, they were from uh, a neighborhood uh, from, uh, of Kovna in Lithuania. Yeah. Because uh, they weren't born in, uh, in Kovna like Slobodka. Yeah. Slobodka was a sort of a neighborhood. Bar, so, well, ne a neighborhood. A neighborhood of, uh, yeah. of uh, Kovna, which was uh, a big town. And uh, they also were uh, near, near, near Kovna in Lithuania. Now, my mother's side were called Olovich, and uh, my, that's what my grandfather was called, Olovich, Don Bear Olovich. And on my mother's side, I got a feeling that he was Lipman Yaffa. Now, uh, my... Um, the Yaffa is the Yaffa family? Yes. And my father, well, everybody's called Yaffa, is from yeah. the Yaffa family. Now, the, uh, my father's side, uh, they were, I think they were called Schneider. And when they came to to England, they changed it to Taylor, which is more yeah. a translation. Although it's T A I L O R and mm -hmm. Taylor, but uh, Schneider is. A, and he was a he was a Taylor. Yes. The grandfather. Yes, they were all the Taylors. Yeah. Well, those uh, most of those in the Pale of Settlement were were artisans, you know, tailors and so yeah. on. That. And uh, and uh, they came at the beginning of the 1900s or just before the 1900s. Uh, and uh, and uh, they settled, they settled in uh, in England, and uh, because uh, it started basically basically from on the because of the pogroms. How old were they when they came? Do you know? <laughs> my father, my father was uh, I should think he was about three or four years old, mm. and my mother was uh, two years old when they came, and uh, they settled here. Most of the Jews uh, went intended to go to America, but since they didn't know any English, and uh, so uh, they were let off at the uh, 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 at the port in England, uh, thinking that they were in America, and that's how Jews came to Ireland because of that same. Uh, nobody knew of Ireland, but they <laughs> they said they came to America, and uh, they let off at Ireland and. The, the, that's how it started. The, uh, this is your grandfather. From a This is Olovich. Yes, Olovich, yes. What was his name? <coughs> Dovbe Olovich. <coughs> Dovbe Olovich. Seems that nobody was named after him <coughs> of, the, of, mom, of your brothers. No, because. Uh, 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 oh, because he was alive then. You remember? Uh, yes, he was alive when we were And this is your grandmother, yes. Rose, Rose Yaffe. That's right, yes. That's his uh, granddad's mother. Gra grandma's mother? Gram uh, grandma's mother. Uh, uh, grandma's mother. No. Uh, it's grandma's mother. Uh, 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 yeah, grandma's mother, yes. yes. Yeah. Now, the only picture I've got here of granddad is with his father. That's right. No, you haven't got a picture of his mother. No, I didn't. I remember his mother. I remember my grandmother from my father's side. He used to live with my auntie, which you'll see a picture of Jeannie there. Yeah. And uh, she lived there. But I was very, very young. And uh, it's, uh, there were, in those days, uh, grandparents were rather aloof, you know. They, yeah. they, they this is your grandfather. Cut. Yes, that's right. I didn't know him. He died before. He died before. Grand before this I is granddad's yes. father. This yes. is granddad and, and his and father. He was called David Benachim. Ah, so you're named after I'm him. Named after Okay. <coughs> my grandfather, my mother's side, that's Dober Olovich, he was, uh, uh, when uh, I remember him because he used to, he used to live with him. Yeah. And uh, he was still alive in 1939, I should think I was about nine years old, when he was still alive, something like that. 
I remember having a Pesach with all the family when he was there, and he was uh, still alive when uh, Harold, my older brother, was bar mitzvah. Harold, we've got a picture of him. I've got the picture of him. Yeah, I was looking for your child, time. yeah. <coughs> um, <coughs> I hear, uh, now where's this picture? I was going to ask you another question. Yeah, what do you remember, Grau, about the life or what you heard about the life of when your grandparents came to England? Uh, well, my grandfather became uh, a uh, sort of a, uh, what would I say, he used to go and sell, sell things uh, in villages outside, uh, outside Leeds. A peddler. And I was born. A peddler. Uh, was a peddler, I could say he's a peddler, mm. and uh, he used to uh, uh, sell clothes and used to have, because uh, I once I went with him uh, one Shabbos, uh, one uh, week, well, he had an agola. One week uh, and he used to have a, 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 a suitcase wow. full of different clothes which he used to... For women, uh, women's clothes? No, anything, clothes for children and so mm. on. And he, well, he used to schlep it all around with him. Well, yes, he used to go around with him. And uh, uh, I think he, they, they paid, uh, you know, on uh, credit. Oh. They didn't pay all that. And so he used to have a business like that, yeah. where he used to go. And I went with him, I remember, on a train. And it was in a village outside Leeds, where there were only two police to get something on credit, because people were very, very poor those days. Yeah. And uh, that's how he made a living. And it seems that he, he didn't make a bad living at all because the mere fact that we had a, a big house, he had a big house in, in Leopold Street, in the started in Francis Street, I think, which was uh, just not so far away, where the, there was a, a shul there. And I think he, he I was told that he uh, started a cheder there. And eventually uh, he became uh, one of the uh, Baal Kriya in the Hebrew Shas. Uh, well, uh, well, we know, uh, Mummy knows because we went there with Chavre uh, I didn't know the Chavre No, no, no. It already was closed, closed down. down. Yeah. <coughs> Who was the Rav there? There wasn't a, a Rav. Eventually there was a Rav called, uh, uh, who came uh, as a as a Shaliach, a messenger from the, uh, uh, from the uh, Radim, from the Chavitz Chaim's uh, yeshiva, collecting money. And uh, Mufti, sure. I think his name was, and he was uh, stuck in uh, in in Leeds uh, because the war broke out, and he used to first world war. You're talking about second world war. Second world war. Yeah, and he used to to daven in the Chedle Shas with us. I remember him, and uh, <coughs> there was a family called Menshevskis, which uh, I think I don't know if you remember him. Him, remembers him very well. Uh, the father, and he, uh, is, he lived with him during the period of the war, and uh, on condition that he would teach his children, uh, what's, uh, the two of the children which he had, and uh, uh, that's it. So, but it was a nice. Uh, I didn't go there during the week. I used to go to the Hebrishas uh, during Yamim uh, Noraim. We used to dabble there. And the, the Gabbai there was uh, Shimon Noach Newman, who was also... So your grandfather was what there in the Chavashas, was one of the founders? One of the Valkyria, yeah. Valkyria. One of the Valkyria, one of the... Valkyria, one of the I've got a photograph of him there, of the... You've got it there? No. Yeah. Of, of your grandfather? Yes, of course. Yeah, I've got, I've showed this picture. No, 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 with all the Chavashas. No, no, we'll yes. have to see it afterwards. Yes, yes. Uh, with Shimon Noach Newman and... Uh, and yeah. uh, How do you get the photograph? <coughs> Interesting. When I came, went to Leeds once, there's uh, the I think it was called the Jewish Review, uh, a local yeah. newspaper, who said uh, anybody who's got photographs of the last fifty years, uh, please. I think you came. Would you came? I think Miri was, uh, was that. Was that when you were the the show? Yes, the well, that's that. show. And I uh, I saw in the in the newspaper there was a picture of the Hebrew Shas, ah. and. Uh, so uh, I went down to them and uh, uh, no, I, I had to cut, I, I cut it out and 
uh, and uh, my grandfather was there, she went up knew, and all the people whom I knew. Yeah. The country, I my and there were no names there, the people. They asked some the people, of them, yeah, some of them. They asked to know what the, who uh, anybody yes, recognized. Yes, but the, my, my grandfather is not mentioned there, but the, the Kensevik, because a lot of those who were well known in, uh, well known in, uh, in Leeds were there. Some had shops on, on the main road and so on. And, uh, and, and this it. was Olovich. This was Olovich. Olovich. Yes. Now your grandfather. Well, I didn't know the grandfather. He died before. Well, what did he work? What did he? He was a tailor. He was a tailor. My father worked for him. Ah, but he had a. You told me once about what he used to, how he used to work. Uh, that he had to keep his job. He used to sleep. Well, the him. poverty was so great, you see, and uh, though you would know because I think you mentioned me of the subject of of Shabbos. Shabbos. Because uh, the, the Leeds Jewish community. At the very outset, was very religious, but uh, the poverty was so great that uh, there was a, a, a very big uh, manufacturer called Montague Burton, who was Jewish, and uh, all the people who came, uh, they uh, they had problems of uh, of uh, making a pan uh -huh. and also, uh, a, a living. So, <coughs> and he opened the shop, and unfortunately, a lot of them uh, accused him. Of, uh, although he gave uh, 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 sustenance to people in their we weekly wages, but he was the one who, uh, because, because how he started was working for the army uniforms mm. during the First World War, and he made a fortune. And uh, they demanded uh, work seven days to get everything done. That's what I assume. And uh, unfortunately, he continued after the war in the same system. And Jews had to mechal the Shabbos, mm -hmm. and uh, to the extent uh, that uh, people who were sort of there were a few factories there, and uh, and uh, the, there were so many people who were just uh, tailors that there were not enough jobs, so they were frightened someone would take a job for less money or something like that, and so they used to sleep there at the machine at night. Uh, so that no one would take the... Uh, so how did your grandfather manage the Shabbos then? <coughs> he worked for his father, and I don't know how... Well, no, your, your grandfather. My, my grandfather opened up his own... I, but because of this, he opened uh, up his business. Uh, I don't know, I yeah. don't know. He opened up his business. I don't know, I don't know what the reason why, but all I know that he opened up his own business, because when my... Uh, when uh, your grandfather uh, was in the army during the First World War, he, he, dad, granddad. Granddad. Yeah. He had. He wanted to remain in Israel because he went to. The, I've told you about this. Uh, and uh, he wanted to because he had a friend. He befriended somebody who decided to stay, and he uh, he bought an orange grove and so on. He said, Jack. He said, Well, stay with me. You'll be all right. And so he said, No. He said, I've got to stay. My father's in trouble. He's got to have help in his work and. He went back, and that's, uh, yeah. that's what happened. The rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've covered your uh, grandparents and what you know of them, uncles. Uh, now, your uh, you, did you? Did they have big families with them? They came with the whole with the Mishpachah They came with the, family, they came with the families. As far as I know, and because most of the, a lot of the Jews, just the fathers came, and then they brought yeah. them over afterwards. As far as I know, they all came together. Because okay. the mere fact that they parents were born in, in England, in Leeds, uh, you know, with their parents, so... Uh, no, I'm talking about their brothers and sisters, <coughs> you don't know anything about them. Uh, I, uh, granddad's uncles or aunts, grandmas. Uh, I uh, know the, the, the cousins of my... Uh, well, no, I, I know... I, look, we, we, we didn't have much, uh, uh, much uh, connection sure. with them, I would say. But I remember being the... the uh, in the choir, with Chazan Stern's choir in the New Shul, that there was a chap called Padwell there. He was one of the baritones. Mm -hmm. So I told, I was telling the, my the dad about it, and he said that, oh, he's our cousin. Oh. And his father, uh, most probably, was a, I don't know. A, an uncle. An uncle, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. He came to be named Padwell, maybe from the mother's side. Anyway, so, uh, he said uh, he had a cheder, the grandfather, his this fellow's father, this Padre. Padre. and uh, well, naturally he was sent to to learn there because he was mostly going to 
I got a hanacha, uh, you know, <laughs> and he said, uh, since he was the uh, close connection, if there was any trouble, he used to give him the class because, because he couldn't do uh, it. Because otherwise he'd send the kids away. The so, uh, he was the kapara. Anyway, <laughs> that granddad older, that's why possibly he didn't have much connection uh, with them, he suffered with them. And, uh, and my mother's uh, yeah. side, I, we did have connection with her uh, cousins, uh, very nice people. And also, we're very. Uh, I, I only know from my auntie Lily that uh, the the parents of these cousins, who came also from uh, from where they came, uh, there were there were three. There was one called Lip, Label, and there was one called Henry, and the other one called Ruch, uh, Rachel, short for Rachel. And we used we were very close to them, and uh, and they uh, eventually. Uh, they, their parents, the, my auntie Lily told me that uh, the father used to go around with a, with a cart selling vegetables and they said they were very, very poor and had a very hard life. You don't know any of what happened to them, the descendants or uh, his cousins? Uh, well, Lip, I, I knew from, uh, 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 from, from Leeds. I yeah. knew him. And I think Miri still got a, a... He used to have a, a stall in the market and uh, a very nice, very nice fellow. And Roch, I know, because he came to see, see us in Ashkelon. He came with aunt, my auntie Lily oh. in Ashkelon. Mm. And she was telling us, you know, about where, where she was, uh, where she came from in uh, uh, um, uh, a suburb of, of Kovna. Who said Lily? Uh, no. The uh, cousin? Uh, uh, the cousin. Uh, she came later uh, than uh, that? No, uh, no I, I think the old Muslim came the but same time. But you said time. Lily must have been born in England, no? She most probably was born in, in England. I wouldn't be surprised if she was born in because she was younger, youngest. younger than my mother. Yeah. Uh, so, so this cousin remembered uh, her childhood in Lithuania. Uh, well, well, I, she, it's possible that she knew from her parents. I don't know, but uh, Kovna Gubernia is called. That's a suburb of Kovna, because uh, she was talking to me about it. Well, a lovely woman. She was. I don't think she was married actually. Mm. Okay, so we've come to uh, Grandma and Grandad now. Yeah. You don't know how they met, what <coughs> any stories or what the shidduch was done uh, or no, where I they met. They're, they're just, just you haven't got any pictures of young when they were young, have you? It's interesting. There are no pictures uh, taken from the chasna or whatever. No, no, there were no pictures. I only had uh, 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 no, there were no pictures of the chasna. Mm. So this is Grandma and Grandad in your chasna? No, no, that was at, at a chasna of some friends or something. Ah, so this is Grandma. So how old do you think they are here, well, Grandma and Grandad? Well, I must have been about 15 at the time. I'm, am I in there? No. No, I must have been about 15 at the time. Ah. I don't know who's, uh, whose wedding it was, no idea. There are no yeah. pictures. I remember that uh, when I went to Lily's, house, my auntie Lily, she had a picture of their wedding. I remember going to the wedding. Lily's wedding? Yeah, I remember yeah. going to that wedding. I was uh, very young. I remember even getting, uh, we were in Roscoe Mount at the time, and uh, we're there, we only had, uh, it was a very small house. There, I was telling you that Grandad had problems with, with uh, uh, making uh, a living, and uh, he, he worked for some, somebody else. He was a very good tailor and fitter and uh, he used to fit on the clothes in this place and he got uh, about 15 shillings a week and uh, my mother was very happy but he refused to work for anybody else, he could only work for himself, he didn't want to have anybody telling him, uh, like you I suppose in that mm -hmm. respect and uh, he, uh, he went on his own and he was very very hard at the very beginning to the extent that he had to borrow money and the bailiffs came to take out furniture from our house. It was very, very hard at the beginning. Anyway, so uh, the... Uh, uh, what, what we asked you about the, how they met or whatever, if you no, know No, no, I didn't go to... The, I, only, I only went to my auntie's and next door to us, I remember there was a, a woman who used to make blouses uh, for children. We had a nice blouse made for the, uh, for the wedding. And my, grand, my grandfather was, of course, was still alive at the time. And, uh, and then uh, the, suddenly 
after the wedding, I don't know what happened there. We were I enjoyed it very, very much. It was in a very big hall. I remember even where it was. And uh, we got notification that we're going to live with my grandfather. Because after Lily married, she went to live on her own with her ah. husband, Mick, and my uncle That's Mick. Mick. Uncle Mick, yeah. And uh, so we went to live with my grandfather in a big, big house in Leopold Street. Ah. So what, the solder house? The whole, the, the solder house in Oscar yeah, Mount? it was ours. Ah. Oh, we've got something before that. The uh, granddad was uh, uh, conscripted into the army in World Oh, yes, War I. yes, during the war, yes. Uh, well, we've got uh, a picture here. <coughs> of granddad with his father. And this is that time, no? No, that, well, this yeah, is the time when he was in the army. My, my auntie uh, Jeannie, yes. This is the auntie Jeannie. Yes. We've got this picture, if we can get it here. Yes. Who, who is Jeannie? That's the younger Jeannie sister? My, uh, my auntie there, that's uh, his younger sister. Mm. Younger was he the oldest? No. Uh, oh, he had Joe. My uncle Joe. No, and my uncle Joe was the eldest, and then there was Edith. Edith was, uh, I think, the second oldest a, a, a lady. And then I think it was Jimmy. And uh, then there was, uh, uh, then there was um, my uncle, what was his name now? Um, oh, I forgot now. And then there was Yetta, who was the youngest of all. And uh, that, that was the family. So what do you know about... And then there, uh, was another, there was another brother yeah. who went to America, I think. You remember him? You didn't know him? No, no. What no, happened to him? He was involved. Unfortunately, they, uh, they all thought, you know, when they heard stories about the American Jews, how well they're doing, and a lot of them went, mm. and uh, and he went, and they got involved in uh, the unions there. There was a terrible business the union. If you learn, if you read the, uh, yeah. the book on uh, about the Beza Silva, about the Shkita business, yes, and it went the terrible business. The unions took over, and they threatened Shachtim. And it was a horrible business. And anyway, so he got involved, and eventually he was beaten up very, very badly. And he was sent uh, sent home on a, on a sent back to England on a, on a on a boat, and they sent them a telegram, the family, that uh, he's coming back, and he wasn't normal, and he was sent uh, he was in a in a home. home very upsetting. Yeah, the story about Mick, your uncle Mick, uh, this in oh, America. Uncle Mick uh, had a, also a brother or something, and uh, all of a sudden he wasn't. Uh, he was sent by his mother to buy uh, uh, a, a black bread into the what's name and he didn't return home and uh, for three or four years and all of a sudden there was a knock on the door he said and all of a sudden he, he was there he said uh, ma'am uh, was it a white or a black and I forgot what he was <laughs> and Mickey used to tell all these stories and uh, when he was telling us this story my uncle Joe was there and he said he remembers when he was in Riga that one of the uh, one of his brothers, uh, one of the, of the family, a cousin, he was uh, unconscious for three days, and uh, they thought he was dead. And all of a sudden he woke up, and he said uh, he asked them what they were talking about. You know, all of a sudden <laughs> it was an interesting evening. That uh, I don't know if you were there at the time. I'm not sure. I don't know. If you were, you must have been very, very small. Uh, so, what, um, uh, what, what do you know about Grandad in the army? Oh, I suppose everybody was conscripted then. Yes, well, a lot of one. the Jews were sent. Uh, a lot of the Jews, I remember, were sent to Australia because they were not considered as. Uh, they all thought that they were uh, spies. You know, uh, spies or something like that. Yeah. But uh, I think because he was. <coughs> I met somebody in Kibbutz Lavi, oh, I think it was in the Second World War, that uh, he came from Germany, that's right, I'm yeah. sorry. He came from Germany before the war, and uh, they sent him to Australia. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. A lot of them. So like the Japanese in America who were put in camps. Yes, yes. Um, so, what, granted, what was he, he was in, there was a Jewish brigade, mm -hmm. I understand. I yeah. don't think so. I don't remember him mentioning the Jewish brigade. But uh, he was sent to uh, he was sent to Egypt, and then he went to Palestine, and with Allenby, you know. Yeah, well, did, oh, he came from the north, didn't he? What's that? 
He, 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 his marks on the mules were from Syria, I think. I don't know. Because I, I remember he said he went through Shem. <coughs> yeah, well, I don't know, I don't know how, where, how they... Uh, uh, well, I don't even remember it very well. I remember the Chavot, I don't know. Uh, and uh, he, uh, he, he was in Egypt, Alexander in Egypt. <coughs> and that where the photograph he had with uh, sitting down with one of the restaurants there. Or the, well, he's got a picture there? No, that photograph was with me, Auntie Ginny, where she was. Yeah. A very big photograph of him in Egypt yeah. with his uh, you know, uniform and so yeah. on. Uh, a similar photograph to that one. Yeah. And, uh, well, at the time I was interested in the family. Ah, uh, it was good. So, do you remember any stories what he said from the army? Did you used no, to talk about the it? The only story I uh, had, uh, knew about it was with his friend that uh, he should have ah, stayed in. He did, never spoke about his life yeah, in the army? No, not really. I don't, I don't know where to, uh, look, I just remember once he was saying he used to go with the Tachrichin. <coughs> What's that? He used to go with the Tachrichin in his, uh, in his Talmud. Do you remember he spoke no, about it? That he, he used to go with the Tachrichin. Uh, no, I don't know. But uh, you see, as, look, it's taken you 50 years to be interested in it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm yeah. not joking. That's the same with Mammy. Yeah. That's the same with the Yaffa family. And this person that made the whole law, you know, convention with the Yaffa from the Mishpah of Yaffa, always we were talking to him. He lived in uh, he lived in the Ganigal and uh, in Kibbutz in the north. And uh, when we went to visit him, uh, we we went to a post office, and there there was a fellow with a strong German accent. So he said we want to uh, Yafo, what's his name was. So he said, I need to be Shpachad Yafo. Come came, but. No, no, me ya khus me ya mishpacha shelo. And uh, he uh, uh, and he said to us, I never asked any questions to my father about mm -hmm. the family. Just now, in this later period, I've become interested in it. And uh, he's, he was sort of very upset about that because he could have got a lot of stories yeah. about it. And the same with us. We're living about our own lives. And, yeah. uh, and like, for instance, when I was on Har Sharad, a later t period, we spoke to people who, uh, who came from the continent and so on, even Mami. I wasn't interested, uh, you know, we just like Avulkan because when he came close, so she started to tell me about her family. But otherwise, they wanted to forget all the troubles which they had, you know, and, uh, and then eventually I got to know, it was only about two years ago with a girl whom I was friend friendly with, I met her in La Vie and she started telling me about all her sufferings and anguish. And when she came here, her father, well, I don't think it's got any chance to the story. Well, we'll carry on. Uh, she, uh, uh, her, her father was non-Jewish, the doctor, okay. and married her mother, who was Jewish. Mm -hmm. From in, England? In the Germany. Germany. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was a very a lovely girl. And uh, she, uh, she was very unhappy. And that's why really I, I could not connect with her because she was a beautiful girl but she was very unhappy and uh, I could not understand, you know, be a young girl, you know, uh, mm. I don't want that time. And uh, it was only in La Vie about two or three years ago where I met her, she said that her father was non-Jewish and her mother was Jewish and as soon as Hitler came he ran away from the family because he didn't want to be associated with Jews. Mm. And, she, and the mother was sent to a camp and she was with the boy. And the mother came back afterwards with a terrible illness. And she, she died. And she was with the boy. And then the boy, after the war, uh, the boy sent her to an auntie in London who didn't want her. And uh, she sent her straight away working in a shop, in a, in a factory. And then in the factory, the, this was she was telling me. And, uh, uh, and the, the boss came to her, he was a religious fellow. He said, I can see you're, you're not a happy person. He said, well, I told the story. Why don't you go on Hachshara? I said, what's Hachshara? He said, well,